Hi, so in this video, we are going to understand the concept of line integration. Line integration is a part of BSc mathematics or graduation mathematics, but as well as it is a part of graduation physics as well. So first we will try to understand the core physics concept of the line integration. The first few minutes of the video would be just physics. And then once we understand the physics behind line integration, we will try few numericals which concede which cover most of the important concepts so let's start line integration so basically line integration is an expression of this form this is the form of line integration where we have a function which can be anything we have a position vector or a position element which i will define later on we have a simple integration with an initial limit and the final limit so that's not much let's go some into some detail so consider I have a curve, okay, because a curve is somewhat similar to a line, okay, in the geometric sense. So suppose I have a curve whose name is C. Now I name the initial point of the curve as A, I, name, I label the final point of the curve as B. Now suppose I want to calculate something on this curve, okay. So in physics, we do not calculate things directly. What we consider is a small infinitesimal element on that curve or on that surface or on that volume or anything we are dealing with then we integrate that whole thing so in this case we will consider a small segment which i will name as dl okay and we will define something for it then finally we will integrate that element dl now what does that integration do so integration basically means combining all the small 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 elements along the curve so when we combine all the small elements, for example, here I have combined all the small DL DL elements. So basically, if I continue this further on, so I will co cover full curve only. Okay, so I will cover full curve only. So what I had to do by uh, do what I would can do directly, I had taken the support of the element DL. That is what we do in physics. So what I have done here is I had put the limit because I have to start from A, I have to end on B and here I have, I have written my function which is a dot product. So because it is a dot product, so I will get a scalar as my answer. Dot product is also referred to as a scalar product. So best example is suppose I want to calculate the work done. Work done is equal to the force into displacement, right? So if I want to DW is equal to the force dot DS. But suppose I want to calculate the total work done, so then we integrate the function f with respect to ds which is displacement. So this is the best example of how line integration can be used. Now let us define the terms mathematically. Okay, so mathematically f is a vector valued function. Basically it contains i cap, j cap, k cap. Again dr or dl or ds whatever symbol you write. It is also a vector valued function because it is essentially a position vector. By position vector, it already contains direction. So yes, it is also a vector valued function. If I multiply D by this side, so definitely everything will get multiplied by D. And yes, in dot product, I cap dot I cap becomes one, J cap dot J cap becomes one, K cap dot K cap becomes one. So this is what I will get. So finally, instead of this, I can also write this as the answer. So this is the mathematical definition of the line integration. Okay. Now, the thing here is there are three variables in the equation. There is dx, there is dy, there is dz. But if I look at this integral, I can substitute only one limit in this integral, right? I can write either x is equals to the 0 to x is equals to the 5 or I can write y is equals to the 1 to y is equals to the something or I can write about z. Right, so this is the problem here, but the solution to this problem is known as parametrization. So what is the meaning of the word parametrization? See, we are considering here a curve, right? We have been given a curve which is which starts from A and ends towards B. So for that curve, we will also be provided with an equation of that curve. Okay, so by using that equation of that curve, we will try to convert the variables into one form. For example, I can write x as x, I can convert y into x, I can convert z into the form of x. For example, I can write y is equal to the 1 minus x, 
I can write z is equals to the 1 minus x square depending upon the equation this this was just a random example so basically if I write everything in terms of x so then I can use the limits of x right this is one way of solving the numericals the second way to solve the numericals is by converting the variables all the three variables for in some fourth variable t so I will convert x into t I will convert y into t I will convert z into t and I will give the limits as t is equals to the 0 to t is equals to the something like infinity or whatever I have in the question don't worry we will solve sums also and then I will make you show that how we use this verbs let's go back to the physics so consider I have a curve okay and that curve is closed curve okay it is not starting at a at and ending at some other point b let's say that curve is come coming again and it is ending at that point only so mathematically i can say that a is equals to the b because both are not different from each other so this is called as a closed curve and the line integral of closed curve is always zero this is a property line integral of a closed curve is zero See, in physics, we used to say the work done is zero whenever there is no displacement. So this is physics only, right? Suppose you started walking from this point. You completed one circle and you again, you are at the same point. So displacement is zero. So if displacement is zero, work done is zero, simple. Okay. So line integral of a closed curve is zero. And what this line integration tells us is the circulation of the elements across dx, dy and dz. So basically if the line integration is zero that means there is no circulation if there is no circulation so the line integration is also referred to uh, the function is also referred to as the irrotational vector function where whenever our line integration is zero okay now what does dot product represents actually right we are writing f dot dr we are writing integration of f dot ds if integration of f dot something so dot product always deals with cos of theta so let us write the same way now i can write f with cos of, cos of theta so we know that f can have two components one component can be f cos theta and the other component can be f sine of theta so one component is parallel to the plane one component is perpendicular to the plane depending upon the situation so in this situation suppose this is my dr element or dl element whatever you consider so f cos theta will be the tangential to the dr element we can simply see from the diagram itself okay suppose this is the theta between the surface and the f so f cos theta will be tangential to my dl element okay it will pass directly uh, through the element okay so let's consider let's conclude the topic by discussing the last point usually we would expect that the line integration depends upon the path for, for example if a goes this way to b there would be some another answer because answer of line integration is a scalar quantity so let's say line integration is 10 the answer which i get but if a goes to b in this way i would expect that the answer would be different but for some particular functions some particular vector functions integral is also path independent integral does not depends upon the path it only depends upon the end points which are a and b we also have a theorem for it we will do in the later videos so if our integral is path independent then that field is called as conservative vector field the field is called as conservative vector field and this is one of the most important field which we deal with which we deal in physics okay our whole electrodynamics is based on such conservative vector fields so by the end of this topic we have concluded all core concepts which are needed to study line integration from the perspective of a physicist in detail so let us now try to do some numericals for the same concept Thank you.